We see people of all ages, all different walks of life, lots of interesting people. I always like to come to see what new art they're bringing in. It's like a, an annual tradition. I've been coming here for, I think, the last four years prior to COVID. And so I was anxious to get here to see what's new. We come down here every year because I had a, had a sculpture in the second year of the Art on the River. Uh, Rio Corriente was the name of it. So we've followed this then since then every, every year we come down and see what the new art is. There's always good pieces. Giving our community and our residents something that's different and something that's special in Dubuque, it makes it a place that draws people in and that want to be a part of this community. I think by the city also supporting an exhibition like this, the city is saying that we support creatives, we support artists, we support creative thinkers, and we want those people to be part of our community and to be at the table to lend their voice to how our community functions and how our community just moves itself forward. The busyness of it all, the river walk, the people being joyful and being, it just seemed like the progressive art and just being around people. I think it brings a lot of people here. It dresses up the Riverwalk, and uh, I think people probably come back here uh, year after year, maybe just to see what the new art is. It's a kind of a unique thing. One of the other cool things about Art on the River is that it changes every single year. So people who follow Art on the River as an exhibit they actually, we've run into people down here on the Riverwalk who say they come back and stop every single year because they want to see the new sculptures in person. So it gives people a reason to come back to Dubuque as well. It is very important for Dubuque to have this type of art appreciation as public art so that everybody who's visiting Dubuque can come in and they'd be able to, to enjoy not only the nature in this beautiful Riverwalk, but also art while they're here. And so I think this is something that Dubuque should keep up. I don't like going into a brick building to see the art, and so I think it is nice to be able to be exposed to it out here in the open. So over the years, I've come to appreciate art more because it's open to the public and I don't have the brick walls around me. One of the things I think that helps put Dubuque on the map, it just makes a beautiful setting to display art because of the river and all of the greenery. I mean, it, it is nice. We Are the Bridge is the name of the piece. We have the bridge up there, bridge here, a bridge here. We brought the river into it, the chasm, everything. It really fell together. I mean, I thought a lot about it. Once the idea came into my head, it was just build it. That's what it takes to form a bridge. You have to build on both sides of the chasm, bring it together, meet in the middle and then both use the bridge. It's a mutual thing when you're both involved in it. You both have skin in the game to keep that bridge open and clear and, and use it. That channel right there was in my mind and it's gonna move throughout the whole year. All the full moon phases, all the sun phases will affect that. And this is nothing more in my eyes than kind of a, a time piece. It's a nice river walk and it'd be nice without the art. You can look at like Gail's piece here, for instance, but then out of the corner of your eye now, you, it, you see the uh, shot tower and then the brewery and then you start, you just, the art helps you focus in on things that you might not focus in on.